DJ Jordan. How you doing? I'm good. I'm glad to have you back. Now, you, you know my co-host, Storm, right? You met Absolutely. him? We met Zena? before, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Now, he takes your product. Right, he told me. Everybody yeah, take your he product. Told me. A, I think Wonderful. even Jasmine is going to start taking your product now. Okay, that's Our show what's producer. up. Welcome. Hey, pleasure to be here. I'm glad we got a chance to get you in the studio because ever since you did that infomercial, right, everybody's right, right. just been having yeah, like all so over many it. questions. Yeah. Very much appreciated. Definitely excited and looking forward to the conversation. Now, um, I got to address your attire first before we get into like your proprietary blend over here okay, of olive okay. leaf that I take religiously every day. So tell me about your attire. Are you African or, you know, because the ladies was like feeling you. And I know you're married. But right. They were asking. They were saying like your skin looks good. Like, who okay. is this guy? They was like, <laughs> I, I think you had got some calls, didn't you? Uh, and got they were like trying to like DMs shoot their shot. Up and, you know, and all of that. So I, I got a, um, a taste of the online family and uh, the unwind family. <laughs> so just what I go doing, through, yeah, okay. I was just like, okay, this how it really go down? Okay, all right. I so what, what what type of things did the ladies say? Were they looking for the olive leaf that you were selling? Well, or they, were they you know, looking? They always come in with that first. You they know do? What I mean? and, then and then what then else do they? Before we end the call, it's like, are you single? Are you, uh, you, they you, ask you? Yeah, they ask. You know what I mean? And I don't mind. You know to what I mean? Fair, I'm always, yeah, I'm always transparent. How you know they forward? I'm just saying they forward. They in your DM too? Pictures. Because you are single, right? Pictures, yes. Pictures? Pictures. Pictures. You got have you gotten pictures? I've e gotten a few. Email yeah. and you trying to sell a product. Hey, you know, some people, you know, they're gonna take their shot in whatever way they feel like they you need to. You think maybe they're trying to get the product for free? That too. I mean <laughs> <laughs> That's all a part of it. You know what I mean? Throw a little feminine energy to try to get a little something, you know what I mean? So it's all good. Now tell me. Now I know um we did like a brief infomercial with you on the channel. It was an introduction because everybody has so many questions mm -hmm. about your product. Um I gotta tell you first, I, I, you know I use it. Absolutely. You know, my husband uses it. Um, you know, diabetes and things like that runs on my side of the family. I think mm -hmm. on his too. I wouldn't say it runs. But if you don't eat right, right, that's the exercise. Right. It comes Anybody it. can right. get around with diabetes. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. High blood pressure. I think you're probably you you tell us the major benefits of my olive leaf. Now we have all the products there, but just just give us a scope. Okay, well, yeah. Olive leaf extract is is always first and foremost a herbal detox. Okay. In that it helps to remove parasites and negative bacteria from the body, okay. which is essential in maintaining overall good health. We need to detox at least one week out of every month. Minimum. I, I, can, I can agree Minimum. One week out of every month? One week out of every month. Oh, right. and, and that's irregardless of diet. So whether you're a plant-based person or you're a person that eats animal protein, we all should be detoxing at least one week out of the month. So that's like one week, no meat. No meat. All plants. Focusing on fruits, vegetables, nuts, grains, and a lot of water. And no processed sugars, none, none of, of that, that salt. None of that. No. Work and your so, best to, to alleviate that for at least seven days. And the reason why is because you want to give your digestive system a break, especially if you eat meat, animal protein. Mm -hmm. That wreaks havoc on our digestive I system because guess. the body really isn't designed to break down animal protein. You know what I mean? Like no animal protein? No animal not protein even at all. Not well, even fish. What about fish. people that are like, um, you know, that live in like the northern countries mm -hmm. and stuff where they don't get a lot of plants like Alaska or, or Russia. So it's Scandinavia, not. Scandinavia. Fin Finland. Are they, are they well, for those folks, you know, their diet probably are is a little bit different based on the region. Yeah. You know, but for us as people of African descent. Oh, that's tropical, what we're talking about. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay, type okay. Folk, that's why we you got, know what I mean? Yeah. Right, that's gotta, why the land is rich in Africa. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. We got to be mindful that we really never needed to bombard our systems with that animal protein. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so plant based, you know, is best. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, from a health standpoint. And we always as a company advocate for people to eliminate animal protein, but we're also realistic. And we know people are kind of setting their ways with their diet oh, and food yeah. for us is cultural. You know what yeah. I mean? And yeah. so if you're used to eating a certain way uh, and you haven't faced any serious illnesses and you know, you may be a little bit older, a lot of people are setting their ways and we understand that. And so that's why we created olive leaf extract to really help to remove the parasites and bacteria, primarily in people who still consume animal protein. Mm, yeah. wow. Okay, that's that's powerful. Now you have a few products here. Now before we you like describe each one of them because each one of them have like has their own 
I mean, I think all of them have the same mission, but it's just, right. you know, for more emergency cases and things like that. Tell me, like, what inspired you to want to help, like, our bodies and stuff? Like, I mean, because you look great. You look good. You. So right. Thank he, you. He, like, that's, that's my goal. I mean, I'm trying I ain't to be... trying to put you on the spot or nothing. <laughs> no, you know, I know he's saying, a man. Like, like, <laughs> like, even right versus not. So okay. We, no, 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 it's all good. good. We're, we're all about? in process. You, you know okay. what I mean? At the end of the day, we're all in process. And, okay. you know, I've been at this for a number of years. You know what I mean? How, okay, if you don't mind me asking, how old are you? 47. Oh! Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, 47. wow, that's the Black don't crack. That's an African right. don't crack. African okay. don't crack. <laughs> and okay. plant based, you know what I mean? And, you know, obviously exercising and, you know, different things like that, managing stress, okay. a spiritual foundation. So, all of that for us is important to really be healthy because it's one thing to just eat good, yeah. but it's another thing to be emotionally, mind. spiritually balanced as well. Yeah. And we focus on total body, mind, spirit, emotional wellness. That's mm-hmm. really our premise. That's good. You know what That's I mean? Good. Yeah. A lot of people, I'm telling you, they eat healthy out here and still got high blood pressure from all the stress. And right. Stuff Absolutely. So yeah. Absolutely. I get that. Now, what inspired you? First of all, how did you hear about the olive leaf? Like, you know, before you created it, like, how did you come in contact with it? Because I came in contact with it through you. Right. So I think Storm came through, you. through me. Yeah. It's like yeah. word of mouth, you know. Right. Absolutely. So how did you come in contact with it? Well, after having several family members pass away due to major illnesses, mm. one being my dad, I'm originally from New Orleans. Okay. And so my dad um, was kind of after Hurricane Katrina, like many folks in that town, lived in FEMA trailers mm. for a number of years, you know okay. what I mean, while houses were getting rebuilt and trying to resettle and, and, and rebuild their lives. And he was diagnosed with intestinal cancer. We figured as a result of living in those trailers because they had all kind of chemicals mm. and carcinogens and things yeah. like that. And so uh, being there for him and seeing him kind of suffer and go through what he went through, I said, I don't want to lose anybody else in my family if I can help it to preventable illness you know what i mean now and were so, you healthy at the time when you saw so you were already living you like were plant based no i wasn't plant-based okay. at the time but i did you know kind of watch what i eat um exercise okay. thing, okay. you know the the basic things i i wasn't full-blown plant-based but i still lived a um a healthy lifestyle so to speak with a lot of exercise and things like that okay and so i made it my mission to say hey i'm going to educate myself on the practical aspects of health and really educate my family on how to not turn over that most important part of who we are Mm -hmm. over to people who we don't even know Mm. and oftentimes don't even care about us. You know what I mean? Mm. They just see us as a way to make money. You know what I mean? And talking about the the, the, the medical industry as a, as a whole. Yeah. As a whole. And so while I'm not totally against, you know, uh, allopathic medicine, it does have its place. I understand from a holistic standpoint um, the healing power of nature, mm. you know what I mean? And yeah. so in, in allopathic medicine, the modality is to medicate, radiate, and then cut, you know what I mean? And that's kind of the, what they do. You go that in for, yeah, yeah, for yeah. something basic, you're going to get prescribed a medication. If that doesn't work, then they're going to give you some form of chemotherapy. And if that doesn't work, then the next thing is to cut something off of you, I you mean, know what I mean? If that don't work, Sarah and Ira, baby, right. you got to go. You're usually up out of here. Yeah. And so looking right. at the healing power of nature and really working to live a balanced life, nothing beats that. You know what I mean? Like I said, being physically balanced, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually balanced, that really makes a person whole. And so mm-hmm. that's what our mission is. And so coming out of that whole thing with my father, I just made it my mission to really educate myself. And then the product kind of came as a result of tremendous amount of research and uh, and testing it out on family, friends, had some help from uh, a couple brothers along the way that really inspired me to really do my thing in the area of wellness. And the rest is history. Now, how yes. did you convince? Because it's, it's hard. Like I have, you know, a few family members who are, you know, battling like, uh, you know, uh, cancer, diabetes, mm-hmm. high, high blood, blood pressure, pressure. Right. trying to get them to take it. Right. It's right. such a challenge, you know, right. especially if it don't taste good. Yep. Right. I don't know why folks. If it ain't full of sugar, oh they God. don't want it. It's right. that 
yes, see, I can't do it. I'm yeah. like, so how did you convince your family members to give this a try? Like, put the blood pressure medicine aside. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, you can't take that in, in conjunction with your blood pressure medication. You can't. You, can't. you actually can. You Olive can? leaf doesn't really interfere with the medications at all. Because, oh. and the reason why is because it but does it take time. But it won't drop your blood pressure not, too Not low? really, because it, it is a natural uh, herb, so it takes time to really build up in the bloodstream. Okay. You know what I mean? And then once it does, you can begin to wean yourself off of the medications oftentimes so there's no interference. But okay. you never want to stop taking any medication cold turkey. Okay. You never want to okay. do that because okay. the body has developed a dependency for it. Yeah. And that's when things can kind of spiral out of control. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. So there's, you know, for people who are open to it, because not everybody's open to really just or even wanting to get off of medication, you know, because a lot of it is psychological. It is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. And when you feel like a pill is responsible for you still being here, there's a level of dependency that that comes as a result of that, that you know what deep. I mean, and that's that and deep. that's real. That's true. You know Although what I mean? God gave us everything we need here to heal ourselves, absolutely. So we don't plans. need a pill, technically. Absolutely. Now, olive oil, okay? Because I mean, I, I know when people hear the olive leaf, mm -hmm. you know, they they put it with olive oil, which they are the leaves from the olive tree where they extract the olive Correct. oil. So mm -hmm. these are just the leaves. Now, like I said, like you're doing your research and you come across this, like. How did you come across it? Because, I mean, I've done research, and I don't know if you... I've done some research, too. The, oh, yeah. the National Institute of Health have has done a lot of studies right. on the olive leaf. They have proven that um, when... I think it's the the flavonoids, if I'm not mm -hmm. mistaken. Don't, I'm not a doctor. Don't, don't. <laughs> nah, you get, you it's like it the right. flavonoids. It's, it's a super antioxidant, and mm -hmm. when it comes in contact with cancer cells exactly. it destroys it, it on the site. now this is right. nih mm -hmm. research and exactly. i'll link that below for anybody that want to challenge me right because you know these people out here they they believe in this big pharma stuff definitely but, um and so i was i was taken aback by that because I, i'm not the type of person that just like just takes something just because somebody says it i right. want to know for myself that way i i'll know exactly what i'm putting in my body because at exactly. the end of the day it's like you know, anybody can tell me anything, but if something happens to me, that's that's on me. On yeah. you, so, right. And only you know how you feel. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And so had you had known anybody that was taking the olive leaf extract, like, and when no, you came I didn't. in contact with it? That, no? That's the interesting thing. When I did the research, I found olive leaf extract has been around forever. You yeah. know what I mean? But it was almost unknown in our community. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so when you look at the issues of high blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes, just those three things, it's almost like once if you're black and you reach a certain age, mm -hmm. you're supposed to have one, if not all three. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So 60 percent of African-Americans that are 60 and above have high blood pressure, diabetes or both. It's so you know what I mean? scary sometimes to like get old because I'm, I'm 38 I feel great. Now, every now and then, if I splurge on my diet, mm -hmm. I feel it the next day when I wake up. I'm like, you know, there's you know, inflammation okay. and things like that. Right, but once right. I detox myself, you're good. I'm you're good. back to normal. I'm good. Okay. I'm clear. I can yeah. think straight. I'm going to tell you, my big thing is meat that really puts my body down, as well as grains, mm -hmm. okay. gluten, um, right. any type of like wheat products, that stuff. It just, it really fogs up my brain. And exactly. I'm actually writing a, re reading a book right now on how bad grains are and meat. And so I think like when people are detoxing, I know you said before, like it was like, um, you know, you eat your fruits, your mm -hmm. vegetables, your plants and things like that. I think if they did away with like the bread, they Absolutely. would see a huge difference. Cause that gluten too. Yeah. That gluten. Yes. Exactly. And, and it takes a tremendous amount of time to really remove itself from the body. It takes it's months. Sticky. Right. It's, it's, sticky. it's yeah. glue. It's, yeah, it's, it's what gluten. it turns Which will into. be why everybody's stomachs is bloated too. Right. That, like, that, yeah. that, makes sense? that, that is yeah. also what that, that is. is. You know big, what I mean? Yeah. Outside of just, you know, the colon being backed up with matter and, you know, waste and right. things yeah. like that, because people aren't having regular bowel movements, you know, we're supposed to be having at least two bowel movements that every day. That was going to be my next question. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes. Two a day? Two, two a day. day. Really? Two a day. After every meal? At, Just like, cause like a dog? Yes. Yes. Really? Your, your digestive system and your elimination system is designed to do just that. You know, but one of the things wow. that we fall short is, even outside of the animal protein is, we don't drink enough water, right? Yeah. So yeah. when it comes to waste elimination that can only take place when there's adequate moisture right. in the body so the body has to be hydrated okay. we should never feel thirsty it, 
thirsty. If you feel thirsty, you're already going into the second stage of dehydration. Mm. And so most people are walking around dehydrated and don't even know it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's a part of the problem. Then you couple that with most of us are not getting adequate sleep. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And the body only heals itself <laughs> when it's resting. We both okay. some insomniacs right here. So we definitely yeah. we got to get that what? sleep. It's so like sleep. People, people underestimate sleep because like vitally you important. You get sick. Yeah. Like if you get a cold, what mm -hmm. your body, you want to go to sleep. You just want to sleep right. because your your immune system is it's down compromised. Here. That's why mm -hmm. you can't really eat. True. You can't do nothing because your body is like, OK, don't put nothing in me. Exactly. Go to sleep. Let me go to work. Exactly. So I can fight and repair and when yourself. You don't do that. Yeah. You're yeah. steady breaking down your immune system. And so that that rest and that sleep is absolutely critical because, again, the body heals itself when it's in full rest state. Mm. But that's also the time that the body detoxes as well is when it's in rest state. Mm. So that sleep is absolutely critical in order to maintain health. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I say all the time, there's no such thing as flu season. That doesn't exist. What mm. what it is, is a lack of sunlight coupled with a tremendous amount of stress around the holidays, right? Mm. And a lack of sleep. Because people buy and give and that shit. in and of itself, and, and obviously yeah. eating, you know, Crazy. a tremendous amount of food, right? Yeah. And so all of that begins to compromise the immune system until we reach a point to where now we're open to the influenza or susceptible to that influenza virus. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so I that's mean, what I've, that I've is. been around wow. people who have had like the full blown flu, and because like I don't like get into. Uh, traditions as far as like, oh, we're eating a turkey. I may say, okay, we're going to have a seafood broil for, for Thanksgiving. Or yeah. you know what? I'm not, I'm only eating one plate. I'm right. not eating any sugar. I'm, right. So I don't typically like, you know, uh, I guess what do you call that? Bog my system down. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You don't get stuff. Where, yeah, because yeah. people get sleepy. So right. you, you right. watch football. And you're out. And you're out. Right. You Absolutely. Know? And the your body's itis. trying to fight that food <laughs> because like, I really think when we put too much food in our body, I'm not a doctor. I just think, you know, sometimes our immune system can see that as a foreign invader. Like you've given absolutely too much. Absolutely. And, know, and so. coupled with the fact that a lot of the foods that we eat are genetically modified, mm. that's going to throw our system off as well because our body is not recognizing. The body doesn't even recognize GMO because it that's a foreign yeah. kind of thing. You know what I mean? And a so lot of these grains people, out here are right, GMO, and exactly, that's why, yeah, exactly. I'm going to be honest with you, they fuck up my body. Yeah, I'm not and, going, and they yeah. do for yeah. a lot of people, even yeah. if they don't know it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so the body is really designed to heal itself as long as the right things are put in it. That's the key. But it's like a lot of people just don't like fruits and vegetables. It's so weird. Like, how do you recommend? Because I, I can speak for somebody like me with basically is what I call like a food addiction. Almost. Now, he's a millennial. OK. So, OK. You know what I'm saying? I want you to talk millennial talk. To yeah, him. talk millennial nah, talk. Yeah. So like, we went Definitely. to school. We had fake food. Right. Those were square pizzas, like right. nachos every day. Okay. So like for somebody, whether they're my age or not, who has like a literal food addiction, like you just can't stop eating. Um, like, what do you recommend they do, like, in conjunction with the, my olive leaf? Like, in conjunction with the olive leaf, what you're going to have to focus on is the psychological aspect of that addiction, okay. right? Mm -hmm. Because what happens is you're not addicted to the food, you're addicted to the chemicals that are in the food. Okay. That's what you're addicted to. And so you have to begin to now change your taste, your interest, and your desires around what it is you eat. And a lot of that is what I call psycho-spiritual, okay. psychological as well as spiritual, and begin to focus on other things that promote health, right? Okay. So if you're not a person that really eats a lot of fruit, look at the fruits that you do enjoy eating, right? And double up on those. Even if you're not a person that really eats a lot of vegetables, look at the vegetables that are healthy, that are in season, mm -hmm. right? And double up on those. Learn to, or over time, to incorporate fruit into your smoothies. You can even put vegetables in your smoothies. True. Get used to green drinks in, in the morning, yeah. right? Before you even start your day. Learn to drink a tremendous amount of water, Right. Yeah. You know, and true. obviously moving the body around with some exercise. You don't have to get out here and run a full marathon. That's not necessary. But learn to move the body. Get in tune. with Walking is very absolutely. powerful. Yes. Let me tell absolutely. you. Yes, and is. you know when you're in optimal health, you know when you feel good. You do. Right? So waking up in the morning and maybe not making this phone the first thing that you grab. Right. Ease into your day. Right. Stretch. Meditate. 
create a spiritual foundation before you jump on the internet and start, you know, getting kind of wide open with work and things like that. Ease into the day, give thanks, have a spiritual foundation where you give thanks to the creator and those things that are important to you that keep you centered and then learn how to manage stress, which is absolutely important, right? Because even with the best diet, if you're under stress, that's going to compromise your immune system. And most people, even outside of the food, their stress comes from relationship, money, Amen. and work, mm. right? And so these things really weaken our immune system, obviously, which really reduces our quality of life. And so that's why a holistic approach is absolutely necessary because it's total body wellness. And these are the things that, you know, again, I understand <laughs> hospitals have their place. And I always say, if you've been in a car accident, God forbid you've been shot or right. stabbed, yeah. something's broken. Now I want to better come get me. Right. Yes, go to the hospital. They, Don't rub no definitely, money yeah, go, go, to go to the hospital, hospital. for yes. that. You know what I mean? But for 90% of the other things that we tend to deal with, learn to eat the proper foods on the front end. And what the foods can't do, allow the herbs now to come in and help really flush that system and help build that right. immune system. So our food is our primary source of our medicine. Always keep that in mind. Okay. I used to have a bad sugar addiction. Okay. It was so Most bad. Most people do. I literally had to put cookies or cakes in the garbage and pour some type of chemical on them just so I wouldn't go in the garbage and eat them. Oh, mm -hmm. like you put bleach on it? I had to put bleach on it. That's how bad i was addicted wow. and then once i did some research and i remember one day sitting in traffic and of course you know i mean cookies and cakes mm -hmm. on top of that i got gluten allergy all this kind of stuff right i'm sitting in traffic and i was probably like 26 years old and i didn't know where i was wow. mm. i didn't know where i was i was like oh my god so on top of that i'm stressed you know my husband and i were going through a bankruptcy very young oh, wow. uh, we had lost the business and you know eating and I'm working at like a place called Buffalo Wild Wings and I'm eating that food. And yeah, right. literally right that, mm -hmm. and you know, no, no shade to Buffalo Wild Wings, but you know, their oil is like the same. They use chemicals that they use in jet fuel as the stuff that they fry their food in. And I mean, their food is delicious. If you like right, that the type taste, of food. Right, right. The taste you know, so delicious. This is, this is no shade to them because I know a lot of people are like, why would you say it? But it's true. It's, it has this chemical called BHT or something, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, 26 years old, 27 years old, um, teeth are going bad, you know, because I'm not eating well. Right. Um, and so in order for me to correct myself, I had to take a spiritual approach. And that spiritual approach for me was fasting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Absolutely. And when I fasted, I did because I just couldn't go cold turkey. You know what I'm saying? I'm going from eating everything I want to now nothing. So I didn't do a water fast. I did a juice fast. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when I did a juice fast and I did that for six weeks and when I say it was like the first week, I remember I almost lost my job because I was a bartender <laughs> making drinks <laughs> and my, literally the customers would ask me for something but because I was shaking, it was like real you withdrawals. Yeah, you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would be like, shut the fuck, like I'm yeah, trying to make right. you a drink. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, next thing you know, I'm in the office and they're right. like, Tasha, what's going on? And I'm like, I'm detoxing. Mm -hmm. And they're like, wow. okay, just clock out, go home, come back right. when the, the withdrawals are over. But I remember when I woke up, it was like that fifth day and it was like a new... You had your breakthrough. I was mm -hmm. like... I felt like I was floating. Right, yeah. I was like, am I supposed to feel... I had never felt like that in my oh, entire absolutely. life. And let me tell you, I had everything around me. Stress, work, uh, two-year-old baby. Tantu was two at the time. Okay. Um, And everything that could have made me just go and eat. Now, let me tell you, there was another phase to this. I Once I had my breakthrough... And I felt like, oh, my God, I can do anything in the world. And I had nothing going on but food. I, f I started to feel lonely. Mm. I was like, something's missing. Really? Oh, my God. Yeah, yes. That's, that's what you... happens because food takes up. Yeah. Psychologically, food takes up a lot of space. You know what I mean? And so, again, you have to replace that with something. And I... that's why I always advocate that spiritual grounding. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And learning how to create new habits for yourself. Instead of going to the phone, you know, take. 15, 20 minutes and meditate. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Stretch. 
love on yourself. You know, mm. I'm real big on that. You know what I mean? Mm. And not jump into a mode where you're just giving so much to everybody else and you're not taking that time for yourself in terms of self-love. Right. That's key. And you'll see and you'll find that once you begin to implement that as a lifestyle, anything outside of that, you won't have anything to do with. No. Gotcha. And I remember I had to remove myself from certain environments. Absolutely. Because, like, continuing to work at, like, Buffalo Wild Wings, like, you are what you hang around. Absolutely. Just by default. The energy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, I remember I lost immediately over six weeks. I want to say 25 pounds. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I started working out. And so, and that's when I you know, really, you know, started to look deep within myself and figured out what I wanted to do for a living. Absolutely. And so I told my husband, I was like, we got to get the hell out of this town. We were in Hagerstown, Maryland. It mm. wasn't nothing there but hair on and food. Okay. Mm. I'm serious. <laughs> it was that bad. And mixed babies. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we got to get up out of here, seriously. And so I came to Atlanta and it was like history. And so I think as a millennial, it's like you got to, I know the hardest thing as a millennial. I don't know if I call you millennial, but you are. Am I a I, I guess. You are, because you're 26. Yeah. I'm 38. Okay. You're 47. Yeah, I'm 47. So, yeah. He okay. could be like my older brother. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, I think it's just, for me, I would just say, you know, you're just going to have to take a step back. You're going to have to really do your research, because I was watching all types of documentaries. Mm -hmm. I think Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. Uh, it was a few things that I watched to kind of yeah, get in me. You gotta learn how to cook. You, you, well, yeah. I know how to cook. That's it's just no. You gotta learn how to cook healthy. Oh, okay, I can learn that's, that. That's I gotta key. learn that and, part. Because see, that's, 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 where, that's research as well. Yeah, that's you know research. What I mean? Yeah, but, that's research. But, but my thing was kind of like I don't want to say my breakthrough, but my kind of like my WTF moment was like I noticed I would eat chicken, and I would go in the mirror, and literally I could see my chest start to like swell. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what that it would go down the next morning, but I'm like, that ain't supposed to be happening. The hormone. Let me, okay. Go ahead, break it down for him. <sighs> and then this I get meat. on camera and everybody's like, are you like, are you right. like, what's right. going on? And this, the, it's the chicken. This, this, this chicken, this chicken, this chicken. So, you when? know, black people, we almost got like a, 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 a spiritual relationship with this chicken. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> When it I comes just to this, chicken, pepper wings <laughs> this you, you know, I, I give this spill to almost every one of my clients that call that, you know, trying to turn the corner on on their health. And I say every chicken that you buy in the grocery store is female. Right. Not only that, the chicken is shot up with synthetic estrogen. Estrogen is a female growth hormone. OK, uh -huh. that's. Estrogen is actually what makes a woman a woman, right? Mm -hmm. And so when the chickens are shot up with the estrogen, that causes them to grow faster because it's a growth hormone. Obviously, you shoot a chick up with estrogen, it grows fast. You can get it to harvest that much quicker. It's, it's right. a money thing. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. When we consume the estrogen as black people, as, as people of African descent, it affects women differently than men. What happens with women is that an excess amount of chicken or synthetic estrogen causes uterine fibroids. There's a direct link to, okay. est to estrogen toxicity in the body in black women. That's where the, the fibroids come from. With men, mm -hmm. low testosterone. So we got to begin to turn the corner on the animal protein. That's why it's so necessary to focus on a plant-based diet. It's the same thing with the, with the beef and everything. Our bodies, again, are not designed to, to digest meat. It's just not. It tries, you know, but it does a very poor job. Now, I would be remiss if I did not give a brief spill on the uh, on the ancestor, Dr. Sabi, in the information that he brought to us that was so important when it comes to mucus. Mm -hmm. This is the thing when it comes to meat as well. When we eat meat, meat causes our digestive system to work extremely hard in order to break it down. Mm -hmm. OK, now the body is in, in this sense is almost like a car with with antifreeze okay. right? or coolant. When the body is attempting to break down meat, it heats up, okay? Mm -hmm. It's almost like an engine running hot, okay? Okay, Because it takes so much energy to try to break down animal protein. 
when the body heats up, the body now produces mucus in an effort to cool the body down. So the mucus is, in essence, coolant. Mm. OK, so the body begins to produce mucus so that the so that the body doesn't heat up to the point where the person actually checks up out of here. So it produces mucus, but it produces so much mucus. You see, and that's when people. <laughs> so oh, if you eat oh, meat like yeah. and let me give you an example that we all can relate to. If you eat meat and you are honest with yourself, when you wake up in the morning. You are bombarded with mucus. You are blowing oh. your nose, yeah. your chest. You <clears throat> All of that is yeah. mucus buildup that took place during the night as your body was attempting to digest the animal protein and is producing all of this excess mucus that got you in the bathroom blowing your nose all day, you know, just to try to get your day started. To get when you eat a plant-based diet, you don't have those issues you because you're not, wow. you're not eating the foods that actually produce mucus. This is what the Grand Master teacher, Dr. Sabi, actually taught us and why his, his modality is so important today mm. in order to maintain a healthy life. That's, that's what that is about. So he wasn't just saying don't eat meat just because he understood the damage that the meat was doing to our bodies and the mucus as a result was actually causing us a premature death. Oh, that would mm. be the same thing with people who like dairy. Absolutely. Yeah, it still produces a, of, okay. a tremendous amount of mucus. Mm. It's all, all of those Because that comes from an animal. Right. And so. that eventually like kills a person over time, right? Too much mucus buildup. Absolutely. And, and yeah. not, it does, but it also uh, destroys the immune system. You see what I'm saying? And it makes us susceptible to, to all types of viruses. You see what I'm saying? So anytime you have a compromised immune system, you are almost susceptible for everything that's happening in this world. You know what I mean? So it's almost, again, eating. There's no way around it. Really, there's there's no way around it. And again, we try to say, OK, well, I'm going to cut back on this and modify that. Mm -mm. Any dietitian, any nutritionist that's telling you meat is not going to ne negatively affect your body is lying to you. Any and, and if you notice, when you go to the hospital, they almost give you no information on nutrition. Because no. doctors oftentimes aren't trained in nutrition. They trained in medicine. They they're, practice. Well, they're medicine. trained in in, in, in pharmaceutical. pharmaceutical drugs. Pharmaceutical drugs. You see what yeah. I mean? Which is to manage the symptoms. Never get at the root cause of the the disease. And oftentimes, the root cause of this this the disease is a lack of nutrients mm -hmm. due to a poor diet. I, I would be remiss also if I didn't bring this up. Most people who have a issue with weight, right, that are overweight. It's not an issue with weight. It's a issue of poor nutrition. Mm -hmm. What happens is people that are overweight are actually malnourished. I know that sounds crazy, but malnourished simply means a lack of nutrients in the body. OK, the way that you lose weight is to eat healthy. OK, to get the necessary nutrients in our bodies. That's absolutely key. So when we're eating things that are that are not natural, the body now thinks that it's starving. And when the body thinks that it's starving, it turns everything into fat because fat can be easily converted to energy when we need it. Mm. You see, fat can easily be converted into energy when we need it. So now you eat something, you eat Subway. Subway, that the body's like, okay, I'm starving. That's becoming fat. You okay. eat cereal, that's going to become fat. Everything becomes fat. So now when you introduce the necessary nutrients in the body, the body is like, okay, I got what I need. I don't need to hold on to this fat. Let me get rid of this. And you begin to lose weight naturally. That's really where the moringa comes in that to provide the body with all of the essential nutrients that we need. And that happened to me when I when I first you know started educating myself and I, I did my juice fast. I noticed that. The weight just felt. I never had to Absolutely. worry about my weight. Now, of course, I've had a baby, um, and so you know, making that change while I'm breastfeeding, you know, everybody's like, "Don't do that," because you know you're gonna lose your milk supply, and, right, right, and stuff like that. So I'm just like, "Oh, I gotta wait till you know I'm done." Mm -hmm. But um, no, what you said was was absolutely right, and I remember like the first thing that cleared up too was my mucus. Cause I, I was one of them ones where <laughs> every morning, you, mm -hmm. every oh morning, sometimes it would get so bad. My nose would bleed. Right. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And so Ow. people think that they're like, like you said, there's a way around it. 
No, I can go two weeks with no gluten. Let me eat some gluten. It's oh, right back. Because my system is clean. Mm-hmm. Wow. And so being that my system is clean, now the glue is just going to go right in there and stick. I've already detoxed. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And so it hits me harder mm-hmm. and I feel mm-hmm. worse. You right. know what I'm saying? Then I can't think. I'm got, I got foggy brain. I, I'm, you know, all over the place. I'm nervous. It causes anxiety. Oh, right. Wow. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Things like that. So I want you to go over your products and then I... I after we go over your products, I want us to start because a lot of people, they hear what not to do, but then they don't hear what to do. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, absolutely. Like as far as like the diets and cooking right. and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And really it takes two minutes to make a smoothie. It does. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Two minutes. Yeah. Like I literally throw some organic greens in with some fruit, some water. And you blend got it a up, smoothie. Right. I got a smoothie. Yeah, and no it, excuses. And it fills mm-hmm. me up. After about three or four days, yes, the first three or four days detoxing, you're going to be hungry. Right. Okay. Because your yep. body's like your body is going through a transition. It's like I need something. I'm not used mm-hmm. to this. What's going on? Give me what right. I'm used to. But after three or four days, guess what? That smoothie has filled you up, exactly. and you've gone good for six hours. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But tell me about. I want to start with the moringa and the cilantro superfood. Let me pick this up. Okay. Here. Hold on. Well, the moringa and cilantro superfood. First off, the moringa. The moringa is a plant uh, that comes out of Ghana, West Africa. That gives the body 100% of the nutrients that we need. Okay. Okay. It's classified as a superfood because that one thing gives us everything that we need. Right. Oh, it's got so protein in it. It's for, got protein. For people it's that are asking, oh, what am I going to do for my protein? Vitamin C. I mean, everything that the body requires, that one thing gives you that. Okay. Right. So that's why it's classified as a superfood. We combined it with cilantro because cilantro is a natural detoxifier. Mm. It helps to remove heavy metal toxins, especially mercury from us uh, that eat a lot of seafood. Right. We tend to carry a lot of mercury and a lot of, you know, heavy metals in our body. So the cilantro is actually going to detoxify your body of the heavy metals while the moringa gives us those essential nutrients. So we just combine both of those things in in, in one product. So this is more so for a smoothie. That, yeah, or you can put it in the foods that you're cooking. Absolutely. Now, okay. depending on what it is you're looking to looking to reverse, because we deal with a lot of people that have HSV, the herpes virus, okay. right? We recommend the moringa and cilantro uh, blend along with the olive leaf extract in conjunction with each other to really rid the body of the HSV virus. So we deal with that. You know mm-hmm. what? I'm glad that you okay, said something. Okay, let's get into something. that. I'm glad that you yeah. said something because I was reading in it, the National Institute of mm-hmm. Health, like research, because they were doing research on this. Absolutely. They were saying that olive leaf literally attacks HPV on Absolutely. site. Absolutely, yeah. And you, like, they say normally HPV, your body is supposed to rid itself of it when mm-hmm. you come in contact with it. They said, but, like, with the olive leaf, for some people who can't get rid of it, for whatever, you know, their immune system is being compromised. Right. The olive leaf is literally known to just attack it. it absolutely. And kill it. Absolutely. Yeah. Destroy it. Destroy yeah, it. So, wow. you know, a lot of the things that uh, people think that they can't get reversed, we get reversed. And that's why I say nothing beats the healing power of nature. You know what I mean? So if it's been created, <laughs> then it can be reversed. We just have to now know what to put in our bodies, right, right, for a specified amount of time to get the result now that I, we're looking for. Now I have to play devil's advocate, yeah, right? Yeah, go ahead. Because, you know, you know, people are going to be in these comments like, you saying that, you know, herpes, something that we are told is not reversible, is... Cur- I know a lot of like, people that have reversed their herpes. Like, like, let's say, let's say a person has herpes. I'm not mm-hmm. going to say myself. Let's say a person has herpes, their own Valtrex, are you telling them they can use this and then eventually not have to take their antiviral medication, whatever they call it? Um, this is what I'm saying. Let me show you what I'm saying okay. exactly. I'm saying if they take this along with this okay. for 10 to 12 weeks and go back and get retested, call me. Okay. That's, that's okay. what I'm saying. Okay. I just had to okay. clarify. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Because yeah. people that take their medicine, they're not having symptoms, but they still have the virus. Right. And they still right. have right. asymptomatic and the, shedding, and the reason so. why that is important, because, again, a person cannot, you know, be experiencing any breakouts or anything like that and still test positive, yes. you know, on a test. And oftentimes, and this is where the science of really knowing how these diseases operate comes in. 
what the herpes virus does is it attaches itself to the heavy metals that are oftentimes found in our bodies, especially mercury. That's why I said the cilantro is a natural detoxifier because it helps to remove the heavy metal toxins, right? Right. So now when you take the olive leaf along with the moringa cilantro blend, the virus has absolutely nowhere to hide Okay. at this mm. point. And so now the olive leaf is going to do what it does in terms of reversing that particular issue. Wow. Now, this is the maximum formula. You sent me this mm. when I called you about my thyroid. Right. And so this is, whew, whew, I had to put it, I had to bury it in a smoothie because it it's is strong. It's mm -hmm. potent. But um, as far as the results, I have seen my uh, endocrinologist and my thyroid is stable. You see? I'm going to be honest with you. But because I am breastfeeding right. and I'm mm -hmm. not able to detox like I want to, it's going to stabilize until I'm done breastfeeding. He right. said, once I'm done breastfeeding, it, the swelling will go down Everything and I'll go, go back, back to exactly. normal. So can you tell me about, because you have three different types of formulas. Now, this is the maximum formula. Now, is this more so for people who are extremely sick i mean explain the explain serious. all three because there's three of them right here you got right. the gel and this is the one that i take daily i take this yeah, one three times right. a daily we have the I original the formula and throw mm -hmm. it back with 10 ounces of water and that's what i take it with right that's how i take it so and so we have the original formula which for i would say maybe 80 percent of our clients they get great results with it with the and that was this formula. one and that's right. this one right here and that's okay. right okay and so for most folks, they want, if they don't have a serious issue, and for us, a serious issue is not necessarily high blood pressure. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you can lower because blood pressure it, by exercise. Right, exactly. <laughs> and, yeah. and, changing, okay. yeah. and changing your diet, right? And getting adequate sleep and things like that. And so, and minimizing the stress, right? right? But for those folks who have what we refer to as serious or severe high blood pressure, usually a systolic rate of 160. My uncle and is 240. Yeah, and see, that's Oof. when you're in oh that God. danger zone, when you're yeah. getting around that stroke range, aneurysm range, things like that. Yeah. And so high blood pressure is really known as the silent killer because there's oftentimes no symptoms. You don't feel any different, you know yeah. what I mean, until it's too late, you know. Yeah. And so um, and so, the way that it works is the olive leaf actually tells the body everything is fine. So when you look at... Uh, let's just say a garden hose, right? Mm -hmm. And the water has to go through the garden hose at a certain amount of speed in order to get out. It's the same thing with the blood vessels in our bodies, right? The blood has to be able to go from the heart to wherever it needs to go, whether it's your fingers, your toes, wherever it needs to go to your vital organs mm -hmm. or what have you, right? The amount of pressure that's built up in those walls determines what the blood pressure is, okay? So now, as we consume a poor diet, it clogs or causes the blood to thicken up, literally, mm. right? So now the heart has to work that much harder to pump that toxic blood from our heart to other parts of our bodies. Mm -hmm. That's why high blood pressure wreaks so much havoc on our overall health because it begins to tear the rest of the body down, especially the vital organs, right? So now when we go through a detox process with the olive leaf, we're now cleansing the blood. Mm. We're cleansing the blood so that now the blood is thinner and, and it can actually go from point A to point B with the least amount of resistance as possible, thus lowering the blood pressure. Mm. Okay. Okay. So now that's one aspect of it. But also when it comes to people who have a systolic blood pressure along with the poor diet, now you need those essential nutrients to help with the antioxidants to really build that immune system back up because all of those things have been compromised mm. and that's where the maximum formula comes in. Okay. Okay. Nice. Now tell us about, now you have a syringe here. It's like a gel. Let me see that. Okay. Now, I take it you don't just shoot the whole thing. No, not okay. at all. Not at all. So show everybody here. Okay. Tell us about this. Now, this is like you said, this is pure. This is no alcohol added. That's 100% of the active ingredient that's found in the olive leaf itself. So we've we've taken the active ingredient and extracted out of the plant into a gel form. So okay. it's sticky like glue. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, it has that type okay. of consistency. Yeah, and you would only need to take about the size of a rice grain. Like, so literally like just like that 
Okay. Yeah, okay. just a little, now, just a little bit. Now, what is this used for? That's used for people who have different cancers, prostate cancer, uh, ovarian cancer, uh, folks that are dealing with um, uh, sickle cell, uh, Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis. I mean, serious illnesses, mm. you know, we recommend the gel for those okay. folks, okay. you know, and okay. it can also be put in a suppository. And like I mentioned earlier, you can take a little bit of that gel for people who are suffering with alopecia, mix it with some organic coconut oil and apply it directly to the scalp. Now, is that all types of alopecia? Because what about like traction alopecia from like hair extensions and braids and stuff it, like it that? It will rebuild those hair follicles. So take a little bit of that olive leaf gel, oh, mix no, it with that coconut oil. Girl. <laughs> Mix well, it with the well, coconut I'm a sponsor. I, I got hair sponsors. So, so, you know. There you go. There you Storm go. So, if you don't and take off that lace right, get you some of this my olive absolutely. leaf and rub it on your edges. Absolutely. The storm has asked the question. We can send some that's to a Tamar. whole other clientele for you. You know that, right? <laughs> we can send that, some to say more. That's too. a whole yeah. other. <laughs> the girls are <laughs> losing the edges from the wigs. Yeah, in this the braids, yeah. You know, that, that, that's where we got to have that self love. You know what I mean? It, it, don't, <laughs> uh -oh. it don't take off. Uh, I'm like, you think. <laughs> okay okay so this is this is hardcore right here yeah so yeah absolutely all right all right just the rice grain now let me ask you something because i mean a lot of people know what not to do like mm -hmm. people know not to be eating chicken fried chicken every day i mean i think dick gregory was saying that like absolutely black folks yeah. don't know how to give up chicken it's hard it's <laughs> you hard know what i'm saying <laughs> um and so i mean jasmine is actually a uh, uh vegan she don't eat chicken I think she's a pescatarian, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so yeah. she'll eat some seafood. She'll eat seafood, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but as, as far as starting, like, okay, we know, like, to implement the olive leaf into the diet, okay? Because, mm -hmm. like I said, this is a super antioxidant that they extract from the leaf of the olives, you know, Correct. that tree. Mm -hmm. And before, they were throwing them away before. Right. Mm -hmm. I remember because they, I mean, people, it was only certain doctors, and I wouldn't call them witch doctors, just herbal doctors, right. that mm -hmm. knew of the powers. So it wasn't like you know, something that was needed because it wasn't in demand. Right. But now mm -hmm. with uh, people such as yourself, you're making it now on demand. Right. And I actually read too in the NI, in, in an NIH, NIH study, the National Institute of Health, that pharmaceutical companies are actually testing uh, this out. And they mm -hmm. do that with a lot of, of like Natural herbs. Stuff. Right. Yeah. And mm -hmm. they just dilute it. Right. Exactly. Yeah. To sustain you. Right. So they're like, if we dilute this and just put it in here, don't give them too much. We can keep them stable and not cure them. Exactly. Right. right. You know what and saying? you can buy, you know, olive leaf oftentimes in capsule form. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? From a lot of the major manufacturers out there. The problem is with, with anything in capsule form, you're going to lose a lot of the potency just through the process of digestion. Right. So you want to take your herbs whenever possible in liquid form so that can go right so that it can go right into the bloodstream and go to work. Well, I open it whenever I have stuff that's capsule form, like my prenatals, mm -hmm. I open them up. And I sprinkle the powder into like my smoothie, so I oh, drink it like because okay. I mean the idea of of like digesting uh, plastic. It's kind of yeah. Yeah, oftentimes just ah. a gel cap, but again, you know, the most effective way is to implement that in liquid form so that it can go right to the bloodstream and not even have to be, you know, yeah, metabolized it's right by there. the stomach. Just like a goody powder. Right. Yeah. <laughs> same, same premise. For all but, of our but we're not advocating goody yes. powders. No, family. we're not. We're not. I mean, but I grew up with them, in, though. My auntie had a diet. hole in your stomach and everything. I like they are, Yeah, wow. But they, look, they used to work fast with me, but I don't do them no more. But um, I want to talk about, like, what to do. Because a lot what of people do. don't know like what to do like for me in order for me like to sustain my diet along with the juice fast mm -hmm. i had to do research and learn how to cook right or not even cook i was doing more prepping and that's than what it, i was that's cooking. what it is now yeah. do you eat meat no okay um do you eat seafood no okay um you eat bread and, and sugar this is the thing i limit those things okay so uh. oftentimes there, there's always a healthy alternative to all of those things. Yes, like I you eat can have, you can eat bread, grain free, and yeah. there's a there's a type of bread called spelt bread. S P E L T. I know oh, you shop spelt at spelt flour. Yeah, sprouts. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. 
they sell it by the loaf. You can get okay. a loaf of spelt bread. Is that gluten free though? Yeah, it is. It is. It I is. didn't even know that. It's I've heard great, of it though. It's a but... great bread. It's a great, all excellent alternative to you know a lot of the other breads out there. Nice. You know what I mean. And so there are things that there's plant based sausages that will literally have you thinking you eating meat. Spicy, mm. flavored, nice at Sprouts and other oh, yeah. you know other uh, grocery stores. You know, and then you don't have to go broke eating healthy a lot of people think that it's it, tremendously yes. expensive it can be right yeah. but you got to know what to buy and what quant and and how to prepare it so that it doesn't go bad now it will you know the thing about being plant-based it's going to cause you to have to prep your food a lot more you know yeah. what i mean that's that's the challenge so you're going to spend a lot of time prepping your food but again if you prep it right and you buy the quantities that you know you will consume you hardly have any waste because like one thing that i noticed is when i'm doing all my prepping and smoothie i'm not as hungry absolutely so i literally i have a lady down the street who has an organic juice uh, uh machine store. Mm -hmm. store. okay so because i don't have time sometimes in the morning i'll take 12 jars down there for her to make and i mm -hmm. usually do like maybe two smoothies a day, maybe two juices. And me, I'll get it in my mind. Oh, I could put down three or four juices, but after you drink one juice, you're going to be full. You're good. You're good. And so I literally right. have to Your tell my husband, I'm roof, like, everything. drink those juices because they're going to go bad. You right. know, so, and that's one thing that I did discover. And I think a lot of times too, when people are trying to eat healthy, they're trying, like I saw a guy today on uh, YouTube, he was making vegan ribs. V huh? Okay. First of all, <laughs> if you got to make vegan ribs, you don't need to be plant-based, okay? Because right. you're trying to find an alternative to meat, and that's not what this is about. You right. know what no. I'm saying? And, and oftentimes, those things make excellent transitions, you know what I mean? As you're, as you're weaning yourself off of the meat, a lot of people want to have the same flavor of a particular yeah. thing, you know what I mean? But... To, you you know there's levels to everything but it's soy you know I mean? based yeah oftentimes yes, it is good soy for you right? it is soy like, i mean sometimes depend I, I think depending on the type of soy that you're eating right how you're eating it but a lot of times when you you're seeing like this vegan mac and cheese or you know this vegan sausage or mm -hmm. vegan chicken it's soy. Right. And then men are growing breasts too. And then too. obviously yeah. you don't want to consume, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. a tremendous amount of soy. You yeah. know what I mean? And that's why, like I said, focusing on fruits, vegetables is the way to go. You know what mm. I mean? You can't go wrong with those with those things. And then limiting, you know, the, 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 the carbs and, you know, the pastas and all of that. You can still eat those things, but just not all the time. Okay. You know what I mean? Let and make sure you consume a tremendous amount of water. Now, let me ask you a question. Go ahead. Probably going to be, we may have to cut the question out, but I'm going to see if you're going to answer. Okay, go ahead. Now, back to like the soy and like your chicken question. Mm -hmm. Being that it, you know, I, I've always known about that, the excess estrogen. Women, we have enough estrogen. Our bodies right. mix mm -hmm. it. You get extra estrogen through uh, birth control and things. But then when we have men, because my, like my dad worked in a prison for 25 mm -hmm. years, and he knows that the warden, as well as the dietitians, strategically put, 90% of soy meals in the prison system to actually de-escalate aggression mm -hmm. in inmates so it makes them right. more feminine. And in turn, you know where I'm going with this? Go with, go, go there. <laughs> yeah, go with. I because think I know what I'm going to say. Because see, we're, I'm going to get literally chewed out on YouTube with this question. So, I want you to go for I it. And I think a lot of people don't realize that sometimes, like, I get it. Some people, I have a cousin born that way, okay? Mm -hmm. But as a lot of times you will see some of the most strongest like men. I'm talking about more aggressive. I mean, I'm talking about they're men, men, but they can literally like pipe that down right. using soy-based diets and then right. they and, and in turn, I'm not saying that they they start to to become more attracted to the opposite sex, but I think like as they become more feminine mm -hmm. and you know, they're starting to feel more like a woman, of course women are you know, most women are attracted to, to men. men. Right. So how would you, you know, explain that scientifically and that's, and to that's a lot a of great, people who don't Yeah, that's think a great question. For, and, and I would deal with it this way. First off, prison is an unnatural environment just off top. It is. You know what yeah. I mean? For any human being. Okay. You know what I mean? Coupled with the fact that people that are in prison, as you, as you mentioned, are being um, genetically or chemically manipulated. Right. Right. And so we know that those things are real. But at the same time, the, the 
whether you are a male or a female, we both have feminine and masculine energies. We do. That's, you know, and that's a part of who we are. So there's a part of DJ that's masculine, but then there's the feminine side of DJ as well. I agree. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. that, that actually makes me a whole person. You see what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So I function in this world as a man, but there's also a feminine side of me as well, especially when it comes like if, if you're a man and you've ever held a baby. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? That's the right. Exactly. And we can be nurturing and we can be those things, too. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So coupled with the fact that, like I said, prison is an unnatural environment. The people there are being kind of genetically manipulated mm -hmm. and then induced with a particular thing that can create a, a propensity for certain behaviors that may not necessarily be there if they were on the outside world and in the outside world and had full access to not just women, but the full experience of life. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's one part of it. But at the same time, there are men that are more effeminate than other men. And that's okay. That's too. fine. Yeah. yeah, that's okay, too. Because the way that you express who you are is a, uniquely who you are as an individual. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean? so none of us are like cookie cutter in right. that sense. You right. know what I'm saying? So but, but there is ways to turn it on. Like, Whereas a man can be perfectly balanced. Absolutely. And then with certain foods. It'll throw it off. Right. It'll like One increase. way or the other. And so you, and, and it's good to know. Now, have you noticed, can they, can they reverse it? I'm sure they can if they, if, you know, once they're out of that environment and they go to having full range in terms of access to women and, you know, moving around, I'm sure they do. Because of course they have been, Things that men have done in prison that they probably wouldn't necessarily do if they were out I, in society. I agree. Yes. You yeah, know I what I mean? Agree, and yeah. that's the whole download thing and all of that, which, you know, ain't cool because you still need to be honest with who you are right. in your behavior just from a safety standpoint. Right. You know what I mean? Okay. And so all of those things can be uh, uh, enhanced or reversed. Okay. You know what I mean? Through, I guess you can say, chemical in psychological manipulation. So it's no different than a woman wanting to transition to a man and they will give her a pill or a few right. pills to do that and vice versa. Yeah. A man wanting to become Right, a and woman. they wind up growing, you know, a lot right. of facial hair and okay. different things like that as they go through that transition. Okay. Because okay. they're literally given hormones. That's all right. it is. Exactly. And, and, yeah. and soy is, is pretty much estrogen, which is right. a it, hormone. Right, so exactly. I just, you know, I've always, you know, wondered that, and I've never had that proper conversation. No, those things are real. Because it's like, I think a lot of people, like, because I'm seeing, it's it seems like now it's more of an abundance Mm -hmm. because of um the food that's manufactured right but when i go and i travel maybe overseas because like i'll give you an example the eu is very strict they don't allow any genetically modified foods into their diets right and a lot of times their lifestyle like when i visit paris a lot or you know somewhere mm -hmm. in amsterdam but the foods you are know, organic the foods are organic you go to your local stand right there you grab your apples and stuff your meats are at a right. at a, a butcher. It's not yeah. all, all of a sudden coming in on this. Right, massive everything truck. is in process. And right. so, and I notice that people are smaller. Mm -hmm. Um, it's much more of a balanced society. Right. Not you, as violent. Not as violent. Like these people are right. violent, not violent. You right. know, not, like the, not as in some countries over there, they don't even carry the, the police. Don't, don't even carry guns. guns right. You know, yeah. so nobody in a society has a gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and so um, and I just noticed that, and I, I think sometimes a, a lot of people are afraid to have that conversation, and it's direct. It's a direct link to what we're putting in our bodies. We are what we eat. Yeah, you know what I mean, and and. No, there's no truer statement than that, especially yeah. like you said, if you traveled and you've lived or at least visited other parts of the world, most of the foods there are organic and people ah. are eating a, a, according to their traditions. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the, and the food is local, you know what I mean? Yeah. To that particular region, they're not trucking foods from other parts of the world or flying exactly. it in or on boats, you know. Our food, you know, is known as Franken food at this point. You know what I mean? Like everything is so genetically modified and processed and lack nutrients. We don't oftentimes know what we're eating. That's why, again, it's so important to detox, you know, to give those things. It's like, I know this might be something going on in me that I don't know. Let me at least detox just to get that out of me, you know what I mean? Until I can figure out a better way, because I, I don't know if you guys follow politics, but anytime they start talking about Medicare, that's like 
a 30 minute conversation. You know what I mean? Right. Because Americans are so sick. Yeah. You know what I mean? In in the healthcare system, we're the sickest in the world right now. I think I think even the, even the poorest countries are healthier than us. People. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. People are having to file bankruptcy, go into all types of financial hardship due to you know a health condition. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And not e even having access to proper health care. You know that's crazy. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then there's no education around dietary health, so right. it's all a set in the best country in the world. So called. Yes. I mean, it's just like any country. You you're gonna say you're in the best country in the world. Because you're here. You know what I'm saying? So um I did want to ask you too. Now there are because I remember when I was like full on vegan, I was so skinny. Mm -hmm. But I was plant based. I mean, I was eating, I'm talking about hella herbs, things like that, and it didn't look good. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? How do like people like me that go like just straight vegan how do we avoid that that sunken neck or right. that, you know what I'm saying? You can see my collarbones. Right. Like, it's not, especially if you're 40 years old, that's not attractive. You look like a crackhead walking the street. You know what oh. I'm saying? You do. Oh. A 40 year old woman that skinny is not attractive. I disagree. Are you skinny or are you just the weight your body's supposed to be no, at? I've seen well, it could be, it could it be, could be both. Either. Yeah, it could but be both. But at the same time, as a woman, you wanna feel beautiful. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. You wanna look at yourself and you don't wanna see. Oh my God, like I'm skin and bone. I literally look like a flamingo. Like I'm serious. Like Really? Yeah, my neck was skinny, head was skinny. Then, you know, I got a little dip down here, but then, you know, it's not a good look on me. Right. So I, I tend to eat, you know, like salmon. So if I'm vegan, maybe once a week I'll put some salmon in my diet just so I'm not too, you know. You want some right. eating. You okay. don't lose too much right. weight. The right. key to keep the key to avoiding that is to actually work out. You know what I mean? And because you still, the proteins still have to be converted into ah, muscle mass. I see what you're saying. You know what I mean? so, if you so it's not just about changing your diet and not exercising because the exercise is what's going to keep everything firm and tight. You see okay. what I mean? So there's no way around that. And then oftentimes if a person has gone plant-based and they've lost a tremendous amount of weight, you got to replace that with now with some lean muscle mass so that everything firms back up. Ah. Otherwise, we kind of, that's where the sagging comes in. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. that sunken look because they're not working out and they're not mm. keeping that muscle tone. Because, I mean, Adele right now is catching heat online because she done went vegan. And she, she looks, lost a lot of weight. She looks good to me. I don't know what everybody uh, talking about. She looks good to me. I haven't seen I'm going to say all that. You know, okay. she... I, I see what people are saying because I've been there. You know what I'm saying? I know. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, and like, people are like, oh, my God, Tosh, you got big breasts. Let me go vegan. They're nowhere to be found. Yeah. But it's right. like, I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I want to look but, good at Right, but a woman... Yeah. But, but, but see, even even us as men, we what we find attractive uh, at certain ages is important. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I, and I'm going to give you an example. When I was in my late teens, early 20s, I would have thought the average woman, let's just say 45, whatever that size is, was fat to me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because I was 19, you know, and everybody that I dated was petite. Um, most of the time they didn't have any children. They just, you know, oh, yeah, 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 they yeah. were they were really small framed women. Yeah. You know what I mean? But women obviously tend to gain weight as they get older, having children and just aging. Yeah. So our eye as men oftentimes for what's attractive changes. Yeah, my I wouldn't find a woman that I was attracted to at 19, she wouldn't be attracted to me, attractive to me at 47. She yeah. wouldn't. I think Storm is different. I think he said the, you know, the, 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 the largest, the me. largest person he's been with was how much, how, how many pounds? 395, 511 and three quarters. And how old were you? 19. I mean, the millennials. Look, that was different. <laughs> no, that was different. That was brown liquor. That was brown liquor. Okay, that was no, different. Okay, so that that's, was different. That's, 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 okay, yeah, that's, I just wanted to throw some But, but for my different. generation, honestly, I didn't grow up with a lot of petite now girls. Now it's like, like the big butts and the, the Betty Boop butts. No, but right, we developed yeah. faster. No, literally, like my generation, they already had all that by like the eighth grade. So I, I didn't see the, the chicken. I didn't see right. the petite phase that right. you guys were talking about. Like I, I, I saw that like by junior high. Yeah, it was, was in, and oftentimes, you know, folks are in the third generation of GMO. 
at that point. <laughs> you know what I mean? The grandmother ate GMO, the, the, the daughter, not, not a granddaughter. You know what I'm right. saying? So ain't no telling how the young girls are, you know, going to develop when they're in the third, second or third generation of just GMO type diet. You know yeah. what I mean? And, and yeah. estrogen laced chicken and, and all of that. So all of those things are, you know, play a role in our in our development. Now, for the people that love chicken, is there any type of chicken that they can eat? If you're going to eat chicken and I don't advocate, you know, the consumption of any animal protein, but you want to get chicken that is raised without any antibiotics and without any hormones. Okay, because they already have enough estrogen. I mean, because I mean, chickens lay eggs, like, what, every right. day? They yes. lay one egg a day? Yes. So imagine their estrogen is always right. running. Wow, that explains a lot. Wow. And yeah. so you want to yeah. eat, you want to eat Storm. the chicken. Oh, You're going to you gonna need a bra. Yeah. You keep eating that, that chicken. I let it go. It's been a week. I let it go. It's been a week. <laughs> and, and so the antibiotics <laughs> oftentimes in these chickens, because, you know, they got to get shot up with antibiotics just to live, you know, because they're raised in the most horrific conditions so just to be able to survive, they got to be bombarded with all types of antibiotics. And we're consuming those antibiotics as well. And that's why oftentimes, you know, when we get sick, you know, doctors back in the day used to prescribe antibiotics. And, and now oftentimes our bodies don't even respond yeah, to the antibiotics. because we, We've been eating so much processed mm. meat filled with antibiotics. It's like the, uh, our bodies are now like immune to the antibiotics. They don't even work anymore. I have another question that I've always wondered for us that suffer from acne, mm -hmm. eczema, like mm -hmm. skin conditions like that. Is that something that you just have to deal with for the rest of your life? Or is it related to what you're eating? It's 100% related to what you're eating. So anytime you're, you're experiencing anything with the skin, it's internal detox right so we deal actually our our company the premise of it was founded on eczema that's how we kind of created our name like taking care of eczema in young children and so eczema is caused by the body's allergic reaction to wheat people have a wheat allergy and don't even know it mm -hmm. now going back to the gmos it's almost impossible to remove wheat 100 percent from the diet but if you have an issue of eczema, you have a wheat allergy. Because I was told it was genetic. I don't know if that's Nobody true. had eczema no. in this okay. lifetime. Like, no. in our past, before my junior generation, they didn't, eczema wasn't heard of. Just like a lot of these diseases. Right, you know, exactly. So. Eczema is on the rise now due to so many genetically modified foods. And, and again, wheat being found in almost everything okay. you know what i mean and so that's that's why it's important and, and olive leaf you know effectively deals with eczema I, as well i cured and my you son's go ahead. Uh, eczema because you know he's breastfeeding mm -hmm. um by going gluten-free of course right and when you go gluten-free you don't necessarily like look for like gluten-free items it's just like if i want to have a sandwich or mm -hmm. something like it's not like i eat sandwiches every day i'm just like okay i have a glu i have an option you know, right. just in case. But I care. His his eczema was bad. Mm -hmm. My sister's, uh, one of her twins is going through it right now. She's gone gluten-free. But I think, you know, I'm going to have to send her a bottle of this just to pump it up. But because he's getting the olive leaf through the breast milk, mm -hmm. it cured it up faster. Right. Absolutely. So, nice. Yeah. And my daughter upstairs, too. She has no more eczema patches either. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, she hates it. She's like, Mommy, it's too strong. And I'm Look, like, shoot it. it. Let's go. Yeah. It's worth and it. and you know? with the children, you know, if you mix it with a little bit of cranberry juice, because cranberry juice is naturally bitter it helps to hide the bitterness uh, of the olive yeah. leaf especially when you're giving it to young children um they'll take it a lot better with the cranberry juice even oh. even children as young as two three years old okay yeah. yeah i didn't even know that yeah but i think um as of now i am going to take because i mean i don't even though my son doesn't get gluten my daughter she eats it of course but mm -hmm. i mean i think gluten and chicken is gonna go and red meat is already out we don't eat pork but speaking of pork yeah i remember there was this this documentary I was watching and a lot of times, you know, cause pigs are very, very nasty. Mm -hmm. A particular pig had can't, well, they say mostly all the pigs, you know, develop cancer. They do. Mm -hmm. And they just cut around it and sell the bacon. Right. Sell the, the the ham hocks or whatever mm -hmm. they sell. That's what I all the meat. Was like, That's what, what? all the meat. That's Oftentimes what all the, meat. the meat have cysts, you know, they have blood clots. They have all types of, you know, tumors, you know what I mean? Uh, and they'll just simply cut around those issues, you know, and you'll never know. Yeah. Mm. They don't you'll, tell you this chicken had know. cancer. They right. don't tell you that. Well, listen, I could keep you here all day. Like, sis, we it's, can go it's back. Definitely and that's why we're going to have to pleasure. bring you back. 
Okay, but just to, to get on this, because, you know, it's the beginning of the year. I wanted you here. A lot of people do. I mean, this is the time they're, they're wanting to detox, especially with all that food that they've eaten over the holidays. And it just it's like ugh, those extra 10 pounds or whatever they got. It just want them off. So, right. Um, on top of the exercise and drinking water, ordering your product here, what do you want? I know you've already given us a lot, but in order to make it easy for someone to transition, what would you say to them listening out here? Great question. Fruit smoothies, um, green fruit smoothies can be easily made. Um, the fruits that are in season, just blend those up. Get you a blender or even better, a juicer, right? Stay away from the cow milk. Coconut milk, almond milk, hemp milk are great alternatives to the cow milk. Okay. No cow milk. And so doing those, uh, taking those small baby steps, the green juices, they're focusing on fruits, vegetables, nuts, and a lot of water, okay. right? Having that spiritual foundation, exercising, managing your stress. Mm -hmm. All of those things are absolutely important to getting on the path of health. And health is a lifestyle. It ain't nothing that you're just going to do overnight like I'm there, I've arrived. No, it's a journey like everything else. You need to write a book. I'm Definitely. working on it, actually. You are? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can't wait. I buy that book yeah. for sure. To I premiere that book it, on the chat. Yeah. When, you're, when you're done, bring it back here. Definitely. Like, seriously. Because, I mean, there's just so, it's just a wealth of information. And you're actually living what you're preaching. So it's not like you're sitting here like, don't do this. And some people I'll, I'll interview and they'll be like, yeah, you know, I sneak in a little meat sometimes. But, right. you know, yeah, still. You're not going to catch me in the Popeyes. You you're know? not. Now, let me ask you something. How, how cheap the chicken sandwich is. <laughs> you're not going. Okay. <laughs> now, let me ask you something. It has your, does your family practice what you practice? Do you, does your wife? Mm hmm does she, Is she vegan? Yep. Okay. Plant-based. Kids are vegan? Children are plant-based as well. Wow. Yeah. And, and it's interesting because a lot of people think that you can't, uh, raise plant-based children. You can. You know, there's know. a, you know, my children have never had McDonald's. Wow. They've mm. never, they really for years, they didn't even know what McDonald's was. Oh, like, what is that? You wow. know what I mean? That's there's a, um, there's a, a, a raw vegan restaurant in the West End called Tassili's. Oh, I've, right? I've raw been reality. there. Yeah. When we drive past that street or just get on that they street, go. they start jumping in the car, like back in the day, we may have done for fast food. Yeah. They they automatically know, I'm going to get some tacillis. You know, they celebrate yeah. like that. And it's kale wraps. You know what I mean? 100% yeah. raw vegan wraps. Wow. And they grab those things and they eat them like, you know, mm -hmm. they love it. You know what I mean? So you can raise plant-based, healthy children, children that don't desire meat. You know, my children, you know, they're in school and they will say, they will ask, what is in this? I don't eat meat. I don't eat any animal protein at They all. do now, I think, by by law, like in Georgia, they have to Give offer a, a vegan and a vegetarian that's, that's option. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, um, so they will they will ask, you know, what is this? They'll look in, they'll look at it and be like, if this is meat, I can't, you know, animal protein, I can't eat this. Right. You know, so you can raise children like that, but the key is for you to be consistent and then teach those values to the young ones. Right, Absolutely. after you get it down. Because that's, that's the hard thing. Like, my husband has to have his apple pie and ice cream every night. And I'm like, what are you doing? Every like, night? Every night. He, let There's me give a him an apple pie. To the ice cream I know. Well. He gets it. He's like, well, I get it from Sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, but it's still dairy and yeah. it's still, you know what I'm saying? But because I'm self disciplined, I don't, you know, it doesn't bother me. But like for my daughter, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to mm -hmm. raise her to have good, healthy eating habits because for black girls, like, I don't think black girls like really like pay attention. Like, we're the first to, to grow the boobs and the, and the, the hips and the facial hair. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And so if you don't watch that, and I think, you know, I, I spend a lot of time, like, educating my daughter. Like, why are you eating that? Are you eating that for taste? Right. Or are you eating that because, you know, it's it's healthy for you? Oh, it's, it's not and, and oftentimes we eat it because it's convenient. Yeah. You know, it's easy for yeah. us to get. You yeah, know but I mean? taught her how to cook early. So good. There's good. no excuse as to why you're hungry. You can right. go in there and you can make yourself something to eat. Storm, is there anything else you want to add before we close the show? I'm just going to say I'm so glad that I found your product because as someone that suffers from like acne and eczema, inflammation, all that stuff, like this is eye opening for me. So I'm excited to keep using it and to definitely try the, the powder here as well. Okay. Well, my pleasure. Looking forward to, you know, the, the tremendous results. Uh, want to celebrate that million. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know that that's coming it's soon. It's coming. And definitely want to, you know, say thank you to the family. You know, Aww. the 
Fun uh, Wine family the wine for the of. tremendous support. Uh, you know, the power of the platform, you know what I mean? There's not yeah. a day that goes by that I don't get a call from a wine and say, hey, I heard about you from Tasha <laughs> yeah. Taylor. You know what I mean? What I'm going to get? You know what I mean? Kind I of get that. And you so know what's funny? I definitely give thanks to the fans. I, I tell everybody all this all the time. I turn down so many ads because I, I don't want, like, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't, like, advertise hair weed. Mm. Do you know how often they come? I'm like, I'm, I'm sure. a natural chick like right. you know what i'm saying I, if i don't wear weed i get it my audience does but i just don't believe it right you know that what ain't saying? your thing it's not mm -hmm. my and thing that's okay. it's not and i thing. got my political reasons as to why i don't believe in wearing it but you know i, I believe in the braids but sometimes you know you're, you're losing your edges Come right on. yeah especially um, when they pulling them too yeah, tight I, I want to you know a black network with black you know products that are helping right absolutely advance. And live longer yeah. and things like that. So no, I'm I'm actually excited and honored to be working with you. So likewise. It's my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So DJ my olive leaf dot biz. My okay? olive leaf dot biz. This is the the uh you said the regular formula, right? Original formula. Original formula. Mm -hmm. And then we have the maximum strength. Okay? Maximum formula with phytonutrients. Okay, phytonutrients, and then this is the olive leaf gel okay the gel and then we have and then we have the moringa and cilantro superfood okay all right. all right and this stuff listen you can't put a price on it no you i mean because you, you'll be surprised people be around here coupon couponing for like you know prescriptions right you can't do yeah that. you okay no. like you gonna pay i would rather take back, this man. than i'm telling you i will go absolutely to, i go to doctors like i go to car dealers to get my car fixed i'll go get a you know quote on the car mm -hmm. they'll tell me what's wrong with it and then i'll go fix, get somebody else to fix it right that's what i do when i go to the doctor i'll go get like the checkup so they can run the blood work and, mm -hmm. stuff. and then i'll go to the herb store <laughs> right i'll call somebody <laughs> like that to get like, it my issues exactly. right and they exactly. can tell me so they'll they, they won't have to figure out so it just saves time you know what i'm saying it's right. a dollar visit yeah. but um thank you dj i am honored Thank you, Storm, Thank you. for helping me to interrogate him. <laughs> I appreciate, well, it's my pleasure. <laughs> appreciate all the knowledge, and I'm sure the winos are going to get a kick off of this because, you know, I, I, I try to, you know, live what I, I, I preach to. So thank you. Likewise, and y'all take care. And again, thank you to the family, to everybody for the tremendous love and support. Yes. All right. All right. Bye, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, thank right. you, thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Likewise. Storm. Okay. 